Investigators say an oversized tractor trailer hit a beam on the overpass, causing two beams to then fall over onto the highway. A man in a pickup truck was killed, three others injured. Reporter Shelton Green is there. Nightfall on Salado didn't hamper an investigation 11 hours in the making Thursday night at the scene of a horrific crash involving five vehicles. We watched as DPS troopers measured the height of the bridge where it happened. TxDOT says it's more than 14 feet high and that there were warning signs as you approached it which were clearly marked. All I see, there was the two beams fell on top of cars and the 18 wheelers. Investigators want to know how an oversized tractor trailer was able to clip the underside of this new bridge on I-35 at FM 2484, taking two concrete beams with it. I was just hoping nothing was going to explode, you know, because it looked pretty dangerous. 32-year-old Clark Davis of Arlington was killed. Three others were taken to local hospitals with non-life-threatening injuries. The crash forced north and southbound traffic onto alternate routes through the countryside. Usually it takes me about 45 minutes if the traffic's not bad. Uh, it took me uh, about two hours to get home traveling 95. This spectacle in Salado drew dozens of locals and even tourists who wanted to see firsthand what was causing some of the biggest traffic tie-ups this area has ever seen. It's a tragedy, but uh, just I mean, the kids are curious and of course I am too. Loris Trucking owns the truck that TxDOT says caused the beams to collapse today. We spoke with the owner, Julian Loris, over the phone and he says the driver, Valentin Martinez, has driven for the company more than a year. He never had accident, never, never had any accident, never. It's the first time they have that one, never. Over the past two years, Loris Trucking has had zero crashes, but records from the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration show 20 violations in the past two years, including problems with reflectors, brakes, and tires. Loris claims he had a permit to carry that load today and assumed the truck could pass under the bridge. According to TxDOT, the bridge clearance is 14 feet and a half inch, Loris Trucking could not give us an exact measurement of the height of its truck and cargo.